So to answer that question, I went to the Union Hall. This one backed Bernie, and it's where I met electrician and Democrat Dan Sanders. So I'm pretty proud of both my candidates. Who told me if Clinton gets the nomination, she gets his vote. I think the fact that the other side has chosen who they have chosen, or are about to, um, I don't want to call it a slam dunk, but um, I, I want to say that one, one of my people are going to get in the House. If Clinton's a nominee, new polls show a potential November nail-biter. Trump boasts he'll get Democrats, he'll get union members. Not at the culinary, the biggest and most powerful union in Nevada, union head Gio Arguello Klein. He's saying, I can make America great again. Well, start with the Trump Tower. It's locked in a stalemate over unionizing Trump's Las Vegas resort. The culinary has stayed out of the Democratic fight. Right now, you know, we are not taking any sides. But that's now, come November. The person who's going to um, be against Mr. Trump, we're going to support. You know, we don't want Mr. Trump to be the president. We are coming to the end. Clinton is on the union tour. Yesterday, SEIU in Detroit. Today, IBEW in California. The American labor movement helped to build the American middle class. Thursday, the UFCW at the Mirage. Clinton is on the cusp, but her party is still split. Michelle White is Clinton's political director in Nevada. We are going into a general election with Donald Trump as the Republican presidential candidate. And if that doesn't frighten people to come together and unify under our shared values, then I don't know what will. For Democrats, victory depends on it.